guys, welcome back. My name is Veroy and today the Real Collective is here at the luxury to check out a three-bedroom, three-bathroom Muji style theme apartment developed by the multiple award-winning developer Kaplan. Come, let's take a look. The luxury is strategically located at District 19 along Compassvale Road and has amazing convenience where you can reach Sengkang MRT Station even before you can finish brushing your teeth. Alright guys, so we are here right now at the main entrance of the luxury and I guess what I really love about the entrance right is that you really get a very nice drop-off point that is fully covered and sheltered away from the weather elements while you guys are waiting for your ride. And of course for those of you who drives right, you have two levels of basement car park for practicality and convenience. This leasehold 99 year development obtained its TOP in 2016 has 622 units across 10 modernistic blocks of 15 storeys. The renowned architect ADDP Interplate Glass, Steel and Concrete for this development, finished with modern colours, made the luxury timeless and elegant. Okay guys, so basically luxury sits on a floor plot area of 190,452 square feet and is embellished with really awesome facilities. Okay, so right behind me, right, that's known as the clubhouse and that consists of the gym, function room, uh, steam rooms and stuff. Come guys, take a look. So here what we have, this is the grand pool for all you serious swimmers and Michael Phelps wannabe. Uh, and I think really what makes it even nicer, right, is that you see the surrounding of the pool area, right, is being decked out with uh, palm trees, uh, giving this an overall very nice resort. Feel. Imagine, uh, you know, just sun tanning here on a weekend, right? The, you are instantaneously being transported into like a resort of some sorts, right? Okay, come, let's take a look and explore the rest of the space together. Okay, so yes, over here, what we have over here, this wall-up jacuzzi here. Uh, of course, it's being closed up right now due to safe distancing. Uh, but this is really, really nice. Uh, come, let's take a peek inside. It's like a Bali resort inner sanctuary kind of thing, you know. Just chill and relax here let all your stresses melt away and I think it's really nice, right? So this is the part where I mentioned to you guys, right? All the palm trees surrounding and I'm, I'm not sure it's just me or not, but this just makes me feel like relaxing. They also have a tennis court and I always feel that, right, a real condominium should always have a tennis court, all right? So here, right, we have the sunken in tennis court. Okay, so if the pool just now over there is for serious swimmers, right? This place is for people who are serious about relaxation. So this area is actually called the leisure pool area. All right, right behind me, you have a little playground kind of thing. And of course, you have a kids' water play area. At the same time, the parents can be swimming over here. And moving forward, right, we also have a hydro gym, right, which gives you guys minimal impact to your joints as well. And there's also a very interesting thing over here. I want to bring you guys to have a look. Come. So facility is closed at the moment, right? Okay, so what we have over there, right? So this would be a, a barbecue pit area, sitting area. At the same time, you can have a jacuzzi party all at once. Solid, man. Our lives is evolving and even more so after the pandemic strike. Working from home has since become a norm and possibly is going to stay this way for our foreseeable future. Therefore, having facilities like this within our dwelling place has become more important for us to unwind. It's time to pamper yourself and your family. Okay, so right now we are heading towards block 29 and this is where the three bedroom, three bathroom unit that we will be taking a look at and I, I, I'm sure you guys won't regret this because the owner actually has designed this in a very specific theme. So we have um, four stacks, that means four units on every floor being served by two leaves which is a major plus. Okay, let's go. For those with young children, you will appreciate that the popular Nan Xiao Primary is just an eight minutes walk from the side gate and we have Springdale Primary, Compassville Primary, Sengkang Primary, North Spring Primary, North Vista Primary and Palmville Primary all within the one kilometer mark. Plenty of schools to choose from. Hey, welcome. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to this three bedder, 1055 square feet, 98 square meter at B Luxury. And uh, you know, as the guys came into this unit, right, the first feel that you guys would get is that, hey, 
Man, did I enter a Muji showroom or something like that, right? And I totally appreciate the fact, right, that the owner was able to translate their thoughts, design and flair into this tree bader which could have been like a typical condo look, right? But as you can see, they have uh, injected this style throughout the entire space, making this place their own. Okay, so you can see, right, all the colours choice, right, it's all very minimal. Of course, you have oak coloured throughout the entire space itself. And at the entrance, let's take a look. At the entrance, right, what the owner has done is having this sliding cabinetry with this uh, shoji look-alike doors. Now, shoji look-alike would be those kind of doors that you see at the Japanese Roikan, right, where you have rice paper thing here. And then, um, you know, in the Kutai shows, right, they have a straw, then they <laughs> can can unswan people but over here not so practical they have actually installed acrylic panels uh, to kind of re recreate this feel and look itself so let's take a look at the floor plan shall we so we are currently in this living dining area and it has a good sized balcony that connects to one of the common bedrooms entering the swing door will take us through the kitchen that ends with a home shelter and a bathroom the identical bedroom shares the same orientation as the living area facing towards the north with a slight tilt to the east Last but not least, the master bedroom with its ensuite bathroom is over here. Alright, so as you can see, right, the layout of the entire space is really, really functional. And uh, what we have over here, the owner has actually chose to put in a four-seater dining table. Of course, if you like to host people, have parties and stuff like that, right, what we have on this space, on this side, you can actually comfortably fit in a six to eight round dining table or perhaps oriented the table this way to make it a six to eight seater longish setting as well okay so let's take a look at the rest of the space come okay so um what the owner has chosen right to furnish their space is that they actually got all their furnitures from muji itself and um i think this kind of enhances the entire look that the owner is going for um probably what i would do probably what i would do over here right uh, is that i will probably throw in a uh, beige tatami rug right to enhance that entire minka feel okay and uh, what we have also for the flooring wise right uh, they have actually marble floors throughout the entire living and dining area uh, i love the neutral colored tones that of course once again uh, matches with this uh, modern japanese style Alright, so if you guys are plant lovers and nature lovers, this balcony space is really, really uh, useful and appreciated. You see, we have, the owners actually have done up a lot of greens outside, making this uh, really like their inner sanctum, their own little sanctuary itself. Uh, of course, our facing here, we are actually facing towards the Compassville Road and right below us would be the swimming pool, which you guys have seen earlier on at the facilities itself. If you guys um, don't like to do so much of gardening uh, and don't have green fingers like me, right, then you guys can consider doing a zip track and closing this area, then making this area part of the living space as well. Let's take a look at the rest of the space together. So what the owner has done over here, so this is an island ceiling. Uh, so this is a little bit different from the usual four ceiling itself because it has like emitting uh, surrounding this island space. And um, if let's say you guys want to redesign this a little bit, right? probably what I would do is to change the down lights to directional down lights. Then we can actually angle it to showcase some of the art pieces to create a nice and cozier ambience. Alright, so shall I prepare some sashimi for you guys? Come, let's take a look at the kitchen together. I, I think the kitchen is really, really well designed. Um, you can see that uh, on top right, we have a white coloured quartz top. And right at the bottom, you have a walnut coloured cabinetry. I think this is really, really practical because this will be much more easier to maintain. And of course, the top portion, you have glossy finish for the cabinetry work. Okay, next thing you guys would really appreciate that I also love is that you realise the width that we have in this kitchen itself is really, really large as compared to some of the newer developments that we have seen lately. Now, this is really possible for you, your family and kids Right, to do some home baking together and of course what I really really love right this part here check this out two huge panels of windows that allow for maximum ventilation this is also very optimum right for illumination as well the entire kitchen is nice and bright to work in in the day even if you don't turn on your lights honestly ah, see still very good right cameraman need to put turn or not don't need right, uh, right? I told you already. Very, very good. Good for filming as well. Okay? 
And of course, uh, here you also have um, the owner actually installed the sturgeon uh, drying rack. And um, this is uh, very good because you can lower down to my height. <laughs> okay, and uh, once you are done, you can just uh, beep and then push the whole thing up. Okay, very, very easy and convenient. And of course, uh, right behind what we have uh, would be the bomb shelter and also the helper's bathroom. So you can actually put all your bigger items uh, in the storeroom itself or probably convert it into a helper's area too. Okay, and what I really love, one more important feature of this kitchen. Okay, go out, go out, uh, go out, film me from inside. Ah, alright. So ooh, this glass wall itself is really, really good because this kind of creates an inclusive environment for those working in the kitchen to still not miss out the fun and joy that's happening in the living and dining area or perhaps your kids are outside playing, you guys can still prepare food and still watch over them. Very smart. Okay, so before we move on to the bedrooms, now this over here, there is actually a door uh, that allows this kitchen to be fully enclosed but the owner prefers an open concept style kitchen. So what they have done is they remove removed the door here, place it all the way on that side. But if you guys buy this place, fret not, it's very easy for you guys to reinstate just by installing the doors back over here and it will be a-okay. Alright, check out the bedrooms, let's go. So just now we were at the Muji store, guys, welcome to the Bear Brick store. Uh, okay, so what the owner has done over here, they have actually recreated this space uh, to be their study area, work from home uh, area for themselves. And um, of course, this bedroom, right, is the only bedroom that access that has direct access into the balcony itself, uh, differentiating itself from the next common bedroom we're going to see. So what they have done here, similarly, uh, consistent to their theme, um, oak coloured cabinetry, glass display shelves, of course, um, this doesn't come with the house, okay? This doesn't come with the house, alright? Um, they have nice built-in uh, study table here, some shelvings, uh, really, really nice. I love it, actually. Second bedroom, shall we? Okay, now this bedroom is perfect for your little one. So once again, uh, the modern Japanese theme is being accentuated over here. You have this, a, a little bit like a Mingsu Roikan kind of style, right? You have a platform bed. Uh, right below, you have storage as well. Here, you also have some cabinet space you want. You can put a TV over here. And you have actually floor-to-ceiling windows in this room as well. But what the owner has done, they have actually built the platform all the way. So this space feels very cosy. Uh, right next to me, you also have sliding wardrobes. Um, you know, we always appreciate sliding wardrobes instead of all those swing doors right eating into your space. Really, really good. Mm. Check out the common bathroom. So what I love, um, I think right, it's very important for bathrooms uh, with a window over here where you can open up, uh, have ventilation and stuff like that. And uh, so bring to your attention that the bathroom uh, fittings, they are from Hans Grohe, alright? And um, what does this mean? Ah, okay, okay, sorry. Yeah, uh, you know, naturally, right, when you have a window over here, right, it actually gives you good illumination into the space other than ventilation itself. Wow, come, master. Ah. I, I really like the way that they have done the space. It's very minimal, right? But every part of the room kind of works together, okay? So once again, floor to ceiling windows thus eliminating the physical walled up feel, right? So making this space feel very open. They have right now, this would be a queen size bed. But as you can see, this space can comfortably fit up to a king size bed with two side tables. And once again, right behind us, sliding wardrobe as well. Um, so this of course, uh, being the master, you have the largest space of all. Okay, so now we move on to the master ensuite, which I really like. Okay, so right here we have in the shower area, so this is not cement script. People will say, hey, Roy, this is cement script. No, this is actually lime plaster. And lime plaster, one of the main differences is that cement script over time, it will crack. But for this, you can see it has very nice, smooth and even finish. And you can even customise the colour, the light or dark of it, or how speckled or noisy you want. And uh, I think you guys might be focusing on, hey, what's this? Why is it so patchy? Now, this is not a stain. This is basically in the morning when the owner showered, right? Uh, there's a little bit of water, but after it dries out, you know, it will be consistent colour uh, you know, throughout this entire wall itself. Okay, so uh, right over here, they also did up a little curb uh, to actually put their shower stuff, you know. But once again, accentuating that onsen vibe again. <clears throat> and also, what we have over here, really a lot of space in the entire uh, bathroom. And over here, this is a part where the owner has also uh, redid a little bit of touched up. Uh, previously, it used to be like a wall-mounted mirror, but what they have done, they actually built up a mirror box with lights at the side 
to put in their makeup items, their facial products and stuff like that. Huh? So that <laughs> my director. I don't understand. Make makeup uh, looks silky smooth, alright? Uh, okay, so what we have here too, uh, once again I really appreciate this because um having a window, you know, ventilation and illumination, it's really really good uh, for three bather, which is predominantly for families, or if let's say you guys are the romantic couple who like to you know enjoy bigger space, right? This would be really perfect for you all, okay? Alright, so that's all we have for you guys and if you guys have not liked or subscribed to our channel, please click on the button below and if you want to visit this 3 bedroom Muji Star apartment, you know who to call. Contact Baroy from The Real Collective, real people, real estate, real results and we will see you soon. Function room, uh, steam rooms and stuff and right behind me over here, come guys, take a look. Uh, later on, you can see right behind me, there's also a wall-mounted uh, wall mirror.